All right, hello. Um, Fiona asks, good morning, Fiona. Uh, let's see, hi, Dr. Ben. There's much rumbling now that the gun infrared thermometers are being used to check uh, people's temperatures are unsafe. Oh my gosh, yeah. Even dangerous. They're part of a control conspiracy. Okay, because they're sending infrared bouncing that off and that's kind of like what you use to control your tv all right yeah somebody's put two things together there yeah there's <laughs> there's reasons why that doesn't fully make sense to me but we'll get there all right um let's see yeah i know you're not giving medical advice to right um wondered if you knew whether there's any truth in this probably not and i've heard that they are not super accurate but uh, but are they dangerous yeah all right fine yeah <laughs> so yeah good question this sounds like exactly the sort of stuff that people with some knowledge would put together and say why not you know at least we're asking the questions right which yeah all right all right you're asking the questions that's you know a little less than half of the battle but it's it's something <laughs> coming up with the answers to difficult questions that's that's really something all right, so we'll start by saying that um, light is a form of radiation, yeah, electromagnetic radiation. And this is the part that our eyes happen to be able to receive fairly efficiently. And we got a range. We've got a couple of different uh, proteins called opsins that um, have little molecule that slots into them that changes shape when a little beam of light hits it. And, oh my gosh, there's a whole biology lesson there and how those things work that I only partially understand. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so that's fine. There, but there is this entire spectrum, and the spectrum is enormous. And all these other things that you might consider radiation uh, are, are on it, you know, from x-rays way down at one end to ultraviolet. Yeah, that's part of it. Infrared, totally part of it. It's like radio waves, microwaves, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's just one big spectrum. And so light's not meaningfully, like visible light's not meaningfully different from those other things. It's just one particular part of the range that we happen to have these two organs up front that are uh, good at detecting. And uh, we can detect a little bit of it uh, in our, uh, uh, I think it's our pineal gland uh, inside the brain. I, I think that has some... Uh, cry proteins that can also detect a little bit of blue light yeah so there we go um yeah so infrared is whatever it's the stuff that's just a little bit um beyond what our red receptors can pick up uh, easily uh, in the eye there's tons of infrared around you if you've ever been out in the sun and yeah i don't know if you <laughs> maybe the people writing this are trolls that literally live underground but um I'm assuming they have, and uh, I'm just Googling right here, uh, something like half of the um, solar radiation that heats up the Earth would be uh, just straight infrared, um, you know, region, uh, electromagnetic radiation. And so it's, yeah, it's all around us all the time. And does the sun control people to do weird things? Maybe, yeah. Makes people take their clothes off and go to the beach, I guess. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know that that's mind control <laughs> so much, though. I don't think uh, there's a strong scientific case for that. Um, as for, yeah, the idea that it could control your brain like a remote control, you can try a little experiment at home where, you, you know, yeah, under uh, supervised conditions, uh, Get somebody to point a remote control right at your head yeah just like from you know the side or whatever and you know uh, tell them to push numbers and then see if you can tell what numbers they're pushing and you want to do this for maybe um 20 different numbers and you want to make sure that you can't see first you actually you want to do it yeah better yet do this either blindfolded or have them uh, shoot it into the back of your head maybe and you should be able to tell when they're pressing a button. That's difficult, uh, especially if you have something blocking your ears. So you can't hear the little sound of the soft button press. And uh, they should also be able to tell what uh, you're pressing because each of those is a different signal. And it might not seem like a nine to a person, but they ought to be able to, you know, you could, you could teach them. You could like, okay, this is one, this is two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I don't, I don't think there's any way that... Uh, the human body even has to detect that stuff uh, yeah unless it's that microchip that bill gates 
put in your brain or whatever, which is also not a real thing. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think there's any. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to worry about this. This is not a real thing. It's just a plausible sounding um, sort of bit of pseudoscience. So yeah, yeah. So you're okay. You can use the TV in peace. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to worry about this. Thank you very much. This is Ask Dr. Ben.